Today, I'm going to do something special. I'm going to talk about three、uh, things I've recently been doing off the scenes, my thoughts on them. I'll be talking about the Lego Skywalker series games, Tales of the Jedi, and the Obi Wan Kenobi show. So let's some, get some good stuff out of the way. The Lego, the Lego Skywalker Saga video game. So far, I've only played through the original trilogy, just in normal story modes. I haven't done any like, crazy collecting yet. But all I have to say is the game's amazing. Like, I love the fighting. Like, what I mean, like, I'm not just the lightsabers. I love the actual fighting. Like, getting in there and punching people, shooting with guns, like, aiming. It's really fun. And also, also the, the part that they added that is in the original movie, but they added in the game where you team up as Vader and Luke and you get to fight Palpatine. Oh my gosh, that fight is so fun. I was like, yo, when I got the, when I was able to play as Darth Vader, it's like crazy, man. And also, like, the、um, being a Jedi is fun. Like, you get to pick up stuff and throw stuff. You can throw your lightsaber. You can, like, do crazy lightsaber connections. Like, it's also fun. And also, all the levels are very fun and challenging. Like, I know it's only, like, limited amount, like, about six, but they're all very fun. Fun. And, like, overall, the game is very, very good. I'd recommend. It's, it's been a really cathartic experience for me because it's my first time playing Lego in like almost a decade. So, getting so by myself now. So, it's really like fun rediscovering my love for Legos through that game. So, I'd recommend basically a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Anyways, I'll be talking about the next one soon. So, I'm g o n n a talk about Tales of the Jedi. Okay, so I'm just g o n n a go on my、uh, laptop real quick and search up like the episodes. Because I didn't actually take any notes. I don't take any notes when I watch the TV shows. I actually just watch them. So, let me just go here and、I'm, I'll just read the overviews for each one. So, in episode one, this Ahsoka goes to a rite of passage to her childhood. Basically, her mom takes her hunting, but they get jumped by a bear or something after. A lion or something after she kills a deer, but then Ahsoka, sa- As- and Ahsoka gets taken, but Ahsoka is able to tame the beast and come back, and they realize she's a Jedi. Then, episode two, Justice, is where du- Count Dooku and his、uh, Padawan Qui Gon they go get- do a hostage situation. Dooku realizes that everything is corrupt and has, a- and has an angry outburst, and the son f- that gets kidnapped is like, Yo, we need to fix some things. Season 1, Episode 3, Choices. This is where、uh, Count Dooku and Mace Windu work together to investigate the mysterious death of one of their own. And they find out there was a betrayal, and basically, Dooku commits some war crimes. So Mace is put on the council instead of him because the person who was killed was on the council. Then, Episode 1. Season episode four, The Sith Lord. This one is, is my favorite episode out of all of them. When Dooku it goes into Dooku lore, like it shows him, it, it shows his reaction to Qui Gon's death. It shows it, his relationship with Qui Gon and how he erased the、uh, thing,、uh, the erased the、uh, archives off screen, and how like he, he fought Yaddle and killed her to prove his relationship to Palpatine. And then episode five is where. This one is also good. This one might be second favorite for me because this one just proves how Ahsoka survived the Clone Wars. Because Ahsoka does a trial, Anakin gets mad because it's a bad, tr- a bad test. So he does a better test with actual clones. And episode one's. Uh, episode 6 Resolve. This one, the beginning is kind, is kind of good too. Because、um, like, it shows Ahsoka going to hiding after the Clone War. And like rejoining the fight after a time as a farmer. So, what do I think about this series?、Uh, the episodes are a bit too short. I feel like they should have done longer story arcs. Like, some of these are like very good. Some of these could just be cut altogether, I guess. Like, the one with Ahsoka, I think, could be cut. But the first one, Life and Death, could be cut, honestly. And not change too much. Like, we know Ahsoka's talented. We don't really have to do like a whole episode thing on that. It's a nice little side story. I just don't think it should have been. It, should, it shouldn't have been on its own. Like, it should have been longer. But what I think is that it's a good. Like, they show a lot, but my problem is the title. It's Tales of the Jedi. There are only, like, two Jedi stories. I thought they were going to do, like, multiple Jedi stories with, like, New Jedi, maybe. And, and it's pretty interesting all, overall. Like, there's a lot of interesting stories. I have a bit of a hot take with this series. I'm probably gonna get canceled for this hot take. Oh my lord, I'm gonna get burnt for this. But I'm gonna say it. I think this should have been a different series show altogether. 
what I'm, I have a bit of a proposal. So, you know how they're, so this show is pretty interesting, because they gave three episodes specific to Count Dooku, which is pretty special, because we never really got much content about him, apart from the books, which I haven't read yet, and, and, well, the movies, but he doesn't really do too much in the movies altogether, so, and we have some Ahsoka content, but honestly, we've already had a ton of Ahsoka content. There's, like, the Clone Wars. Ahsoka's even getting her own live-action TV show. Like, bro, there's, like, way too many Ahsoka content out there. What I was... what Maybe what they could have done is moved the Ahsoka content to the TV show or something. And maybe made this show, like, specifically about Dooku's, like, time in the Jedi Order and how he fell to the dark side or something. Because episode 4 is very compelling. Like, I really like those episodes. Like, him going with Qui-Gon. I want something like that, but longer. This should have been, like, a Count Dooku show or something. Anyways, pretty interesting show. I watched it all in one sitting. You should probably do the same thing, too. There's a lot of interesting concepts. Okay, I'll talk about Obi-Wan Kenobi now. Okay, I'll talk about the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Obi-Wan Kenobi show is pretty hard for me to talk about because, well, it exists. It's I ha- like the idea, like the, the reasoning behind it. I just feel like it was executed a bit poorly. Firstly, some, some of this stuff drags on for, like, way too long. I know this was originally supposed to be a movie, and they only, like, turned into a movie, into a series because their standalone movies flop. But this should have honestly have just been a standalone movie. Because there's a lot of key important stuff, but through all the schlock, I can see why people drop this pretty early. Um, basically, the plot is it takes 10 years after Order 66. We meet, uh, Anakin Skywalker. No, we meet, uh, you forgot I said that. We meet Obi-Wan Kenobi on Tatooine. He's, like, very depressed. He has, like, PTSD and stuff. And basically, everyone, all the Skywalker family basically hates him. He can't use the Force. He can't meet, talk to Qui-Gon. And he has nightmares. And basically what happens is they the the inquisitors want to kidnap want to look for him one of them Riva she wants to find Kenobi because who's believed to be dead so she ki- kidnaps Le- Leia and basically Ob- Obi-Wan goes on an adventure to get to save her but she gets kidnapped again from by Reva Ra- and basically has to go on the ship fight Reva and stuff fight Vader and and bring Leia back home. And he does that. He does it. And in the end, he, in the end, he is able to uh, find some more resolve with Owen and meet Qui-Gon Jinn. So, what the, so I think the show could... Honestly, what, I'd like to see an edit of someone like cut down this these six episodes into like a full-length movie. I'd rather watch that instead of this. Eh. It, those YouTube videos you see on it are right. It's a show that exists. Uh, I don't really know if you should watch it or not. I mean, if someone made a con line where that only shows like the actual good, interesting parts that sh- should fit in a movie, maybe. But but yeah, apart from that, it's a it's an okay show. It exists. People like it, I guess. Maybe not, but whatever. That's that's all I have to say for today. See ya.